the legendary Curtis B-40 Warhawk. Kitty Hawk or Tomahawk, whatever you wanna call it. But have you ever wondered this beast was actually just a variant of a lesser known but still pretty famous aircraft? Its nickname kinda gives it away, every version had Hawk in it. And yep, it all started with the P-36 Hawk. Now you might look at the P-36 and say, Bro, what are you talking about, man? Like they look totally different. Well, yeah, that's mostly because of the engine swap. From the P-36 Pratt & Whitney Twin Wasp, which was a radial engine, to the well-known Ellison V-1710, which is a V-type inline, with some variants like F and L using similar Packard V-1650-1 Merlin, which is a version of a well-known British-made Rolls-Royce Merlin that was used on Mustangs and the Lancaster bombers. Everything started with the EP-37, basically a P-36 with a turbocharged V-12 Allison engine. It looked cool, but was way too complicated and absolutely unreliable. Then came the XP-42, which tried to keep the radial engine, but turned into more of an engine cooling research project than a real fighter. And finally our legend was born, the XP-40. It actually kept a ton of the P-36 DNA, same wing structure, same horizontal stabilizers, almost identical rudder and a slightly reworked vertical stabilizer. Even the gun layout on the prototype was the same, 2.50s on the cowl before production versions upgraded to the classic 6 machine guns set up like the later P-51s. The cockpit was also modified for better aerodynamics and to fit taller pilots, and the landing gear went from the P-36 over complicated wheel covers to a much cleaner simplified design on the P-40. So yeah, remember, it's not a clean sheet design, it's the evolution of a classic, from P-36 to...